Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today <laughs> I'm showing you guys just a really quick video on how I actually set up my little video making system. So got my little dogs hanging out as always. And then this is my little work area. I think I have shown this in a video before but I haven't specifically shown how I make my videos. And I did have someone comment requesting that I show that because in one of my recent videos, I mentioned that I find it really useful to make videos of my painting process, even just for my own information about my own process, because a lot of times when we're painting, we really get into the zone when we're painting, and things start happening almost on autopilot, and then I know a lot of times I come back later, and I think, oh, how did I even accomplish that. I don't remember. So I really like to make videos even just for my own information. Sometimes I will just go back and watch those or, or I will speed them up and watch them really quickly just to watch that whole process unfold. And I learn a lot about my own process. I learn, you know, when I make mistakes, I watch the videos and kind of try to figure out where I made that mistake and analyze it and think about how I could do it better next time. So with all that said, just want to show you my setup here. It's actually pretty simple. So this is just a folding table that I've had for a really long time. And I do oil painting here. You can see over here, this is where I like to do oil painting just on the other side. And then over here is where I prefer to do watercolors. And honestly, it's a lot easier for me to video watercolor paintings for oh, a million reasons. The biggest one just being lighting. And I don't have a good lighting situation over here. Right now, I, I have a decent situation because there's still light outside. But a lot of times when I'm painting, it's at night after work. And I only have this, like, cruddy light up here. It doesn't do anything. It's horrible. I have this full-spectrum light here. Actually, I have two of them over here, but they're so bright, they kind of give me a headache, so I avoid using them. And when I make my Skillshare classes, especially with oil painting, I do use my watercolor setup for those, but I don't like to do oil painting on any kind of flat surface. I like to do oil painting more vertically, like this, and that's just because, again, going back to light, if I have an oil painting and I have a lot of dark paint that I'm using and it's really thick, when I put it on this surface, I get so much glare in those areas that it's so difficult to judge the value. So it's just a little bit difficult to make those kinds of videos, which is why I do a lot more watercolor videos than I do oil videos. Anyway, so... This right here is just kind of a basic desk e easel, I think, um, that I've had for a really long time. And it's actually not in great shape. So to hold it up at any kind of angle, I'm going to see if I can show you down here. I actually have to use this little box. Sorry, my finger's getting in the way a bit. Um, so this is all that's propping this up because... It's not strong enough, the screws aren't strong enough to actually keep it at an angle. If I put any pressure on it, it just goes flat. And I do like to have a slight angle for watercolors. But it's nice because it has this drawer where I can keep a lot of supplies. I have, and, and also if I keep it at just a slight angle like this, I have no problem keeping my palettes in place so they don't slide around at all. So I like to use a cutting board to tape my paper onto or just to work against it. I think it just kind of looks nice too. Underneath, I think it's just some plywood. Well, let me move this. I don't want to don't want to break my new porcelain palettes. So, if I look under this cutting mat, you can see there's just some plywood under here. And the reason that there's plywood is because this easel, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show, I don't want to take it all apart, but anyway, the easel doesn't really, it's more like this, where it just kind of has 
you know, some wood in the middle and wood on the sides. And then it's hollow because this is really meant for just traditional painting. And I've kind of turned it into more of like a drafting desk or drafting table type situation. So the most important thing about my filming setup, though, is this light right here. And I know I've shown this on videos before, but this is actually where I put my phone to make videos. And I like this light because you get a really nice even lighting onto the mat and the paper. And when I'm doing watercolor, there's no issue of glare. You know, maybe just when it's wet, but that's not a big deal. And I put my phone right in here. And I decided that I would actually show you how the phone fits up there. I'm going to just use my daughter's phone, maybe, if I can even do this with just one hand. So this is my daughter's phone. So I put it here, and then I turn on the camera. And then my phone is kind of in the middle of this light, so it's not casting a shadow or anything like that, because we have this light all around it. Turn on the camera, and I get a really nice, clean shot. So this light was a really great investment. I put off buying it for a long time because it was a little bit pricey. I think that, well, I don't know exactly how much it is and I don't want to get it wrong, but I put it in my Amazon cart and I just waited for the price to go down because I noticed that it was one of those things where the price fluctuates quite a bit. I waited for the price to go down quite a bit and then I went ahead and made the purchase and Really, it was a great investment because the light is great. It holds my phone just perfectly. It's very adjustable. It does kind of take up a lot of space. You can see I have quite a big gap in between my table and my wall. It kind of stands on a little tripod kind of system. You can buy smaller versions of this light. It's called a ring light. And different brands make it. I think that the most popular brand is called Neewer. N-E-E-W-E-R, I think. Not sure if that's actually what brand mine is. Mine might be an off-brand. Oh, no, it is a newer. Okay. So, you know, if you're interested in getting some lighting system like this, I really highly recommend it. I'm going to just kind of throw out a number. I'm thinking that it's usually around $80, like $88. But it does go on sale frequently or... There's coupons available on Amazon for it sometimes. So, you know, if you're interested in that, I do recommend it. Another option is to use a regular tripod like this and then buy an arm for it. I can't remember exactly what that's called. I'll put it down in the description. I'll actually put links to all this stuff in the description. Um, everything I bought as far as my lighting and camera... Holding equipment is all from Amazon. I think that's kind of the best way to buy it. I don't know, honestly, where else you would buy this kind of stuff. This arm, like this um, tripod was really cheap. This was an Amazon Basics brand. It was probably 20 bucks. But I really think that this arm, and it comes with this little uh, clasp that will hold your phone. It was probably like $50, which is ridiculous. But, you know, it... it attaches to the tripod right here and you can adjust the arm and adjust the angle so it's pretty useful too but it doesn't come with any kind of built-in lighting system the way that the ring light does so that would be my highest recommendation for you and then that would be my second recommendation and as I've said I do all of my filming just with my phone I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, so it's definitely not one of the newer versions, but the camera is actually really good. The microphone's pretty decent, and I have even my um, video editing software just on my phone, which I'm going to show you next. Okay, so... My video editing software is called Power Director. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in here just to give you a quick overview. This app is really great. I highly recommend it. However, it is not cheap. For some reason, I was thinking it was like $10, which would be really cheap, but it was actually more like $35. And I only know that because you have to pay 
for the subscription once a year and my subscription is about to renew so it's going to be another $35 and I'm going to pay it because it's actually a really decent little app and I'll just kind of open it up. This is a video I've already made and put out and I really like this because I can flip the orientation. That was a big problem I was having with free video editing apps was that they wouldn't rotate the videos and sometimes when I make my videos they are not oriented correctly and I also like this because it has like a built-in um, thing to speed up your video or slow them down and let's see what else do I like about this you can adjust the volume it has like built-in music that you can add to it uh, there's just a lot of really basic features and I don't do any kind of fancy video editing my editing is very very basic so this really does it for me and then I can upload my videos directly to YouTube as I wish and it just makes it really easy it's actually a really easy interface to learn I was trying to learn Adobe Premiere which is like a full video editing like professional program and it was so complicated and I had never edited videos before had never really been super interested in it for its own sake. So I really only needed to do enough video editing to make my art videos a little bit easier to watch and, you know, to kind of edit out any dead time on there where there wasn't anything happening. Because sometimes I just get up and do things and I leave my video going, <laughs> leave it recording nothing. So I cut all that stuff out. And... You can see here it just kind of makes the process really easy. I can put different clips together with it. And yeah, so that's what I recommend. Just kind of the basic setup with the ring light and a video editing program that's easy to use. Power Director is my choice and I'm going to be sticking with it even though it's $35. So yeah, this is just a quick overview of how I make my videos. I hope it was really helpful for you. If you have any other questions though that I didn't answer or that I didn't even think about, comment below and I will answer you in the comments. All right, well, thank you so much and I look forward to actually making the next video for you guys. Bye.